My name is Ron Burgess. I'm the uh, co-director of uh, Sojourns. I'm not richerly blessed, but I, I want to have lunch with any of you who are, if you're paying. I want to thank uh, one of our sojourners. I don't know if you noticed, uh, somebody mentioned it to me, but there was a wasp flying around in this, in this auditorium this morning. I was watching it, but I didn't know how to get a hold of it. This lady, her name is uh, Dead Eye Lynn Lace Layton. She clobbered it. It's dead. It's not going anywhere. So thank you, Lynn. Appreciate it. As, as co-director, uh, as, as co-directors, I've been a co-director for the, for the last two years. It's been a great uh, honor to work with everybody. I'm not going to say a goodbye speech because I've got another year going. But the men that, that uh, I've worked with elders before, and these are like working with elders. These, these gentlemen uh, truly love the Lord, and they love you, and they love this mission. So uh, uh, everything we do is, is for you and, and with you in mind. Uh, this, this Wuhan, or whatever it's called, that Charles calls it, it was a struggle to, to decide, well, we've got to cancel it. We can't have somebody come here and get deathly ill because we said, let's go. Uh, it's been a struggle both times that it's been uh, skipped. But uh, I'm so glad that we're all here today, and uh, for the most part, I think we're uh, as well as we can be with our age and, and just general health, but let's continue to try to, you know, do all that stuff, wash our hands and all the, you know, social distance. If anybody seems a little autoimmune challenged, uh, just care for each other. But I see you guys are doing that, and it's so good to be here. Um, I want to encourage you to realize how important it is for us to have, uh, have enough team leaders for sojourns. Um, it's crucial. It's been said, you know, without a, without a team leader, we don't have a sojourn, and, and we don't. Um, we have men that are able to do it and have done it and do several, several teams, but let's, let's keep that in mind as we're as going on. Anybody that's been a, a team leader before, I'd like to encourage you to, to if you're not doing it th this next round, continue, continue to think about, about doing it. If you uh, uh, haven't been a team leader, uh, just go by the qualifications in the team leader guide uh, to um, to become a team leader. Uh, you, to be a co uh, to become a, a team leader, you must have worked as a co-team leader or assisted on a sojourn with two or more different team leaders. Worked on sojourns the two previous years with three or more team leaders. Prior to becoming a team leader, the man wanting to become a team leader should realize that. Additional time and expenses sometimes are, are incurred. And um, this is very important. The team leader needs to be capable of dealing with people and situations that occur. You've got to be able to take care of emergencies. You've got to be able to, to work with people so that they, uh, they uh, wish the best for you like you do for them. You've got to really care f for the people that are working with you. The green dots are going to have an opportunity to sign sign up uh, this afternoon. They they get first dibs. They're, they're the newbies, and uh, in, in fairness to them, they get to sign up this afternoon. Uh, everybody else will be able to sign up Friday morning at 8:30. So if you want to sign up on a team at 8:30, uh, come on over and do that. If you want to sign up uh, on one of the sojourns as a team leader then you can do that any time. Uh, just please go ahead and do that. Um, if you're, you have people in mind for your team, please do not put their names on yet. We're, we're going to hold off until Friday morning to start putting team member names. So uh, don't put names on there because they're not going to be uh, uh, considered if, if they're put on early before everybody else. It's not fair if somebody jumps the gun. Um, if, you're, um, if you're going on a sojourn and you can't show up for some reason, certainly you let the team leader know. This is kind of like a team leader meeting, but 
uh, as sojourners, let, let, peop- let the team leader know if you're not going to be able to make it. Things come up, but uh, certainly if, uh, if you've signed up, make every effort to, uh, to be there and, and to work on the sojourn. Um, we as sojourners, we're on, we're on a, we have a mission. We have a mission to uh, carry uh, the word of Christ wherever we go. So every, every sojourn we go on, it, it's a spiritual endeavor. It needs to have a, a Christ impact on, on whoever we're working with, the entity, the people that uh, we're working for, and the, the brothers and sisters that we're working with. Let's always keep that in mind, that it's, it's a spiritual. We're there to have fun, and that's awesome. God wants us to have fun, or we wouldn't laugh all the time. But let's, let's keep it in mind uh, as far as the, the mission that, that we have. Um, we should, should endeavor sojourners to uh, attend all the services in the area. It gives them support. Uh, a lot of our sojourns, uh, the people ask for sojourns, particularly the churches, that they, they want this and that. But they don't really know what they want. They'll tell me, "Well, we need somebody to our, our uh, we need somebody to help us to learn how to grow, or somebody to encourage us." That, that's what they need. A lot of them just need encouragement. A small congregation is is sometimes feeling kind of uh, crumbling and just kind of not not really uh, maintaining. So we're going we're going there each t- each of us to to encourage them and lift them up. And, and if we have ideas on how to help them and encourage them to, uh, to grow or see what's wrong, if we, if we have the mentality to know what, what can help them, let's keep that in mind and try to share good things with them. We can't fix all the ills, but we certainly can encourage. And a lot of them don't know what they're want, wanting, but what they're wanting is just encouragement. So let's keep that in mind. Um, Ronnie, would you start the first slide for us? I'm going to first talk about uh, this coming year, the, the, the sojourns up on the on the board, and and what, what we're uh, what we're doing. I'm going to f- uh, initially talk about w- what we're doing this year. In 2020, we had 19 green dots. This is during the time off that we weren't here. Then we had in 2021, we had 14 green dots. Dropped a little bit. But look at this year, 32 green dots. That, that's, that's, re, that's remarkable. We love you, green dots. So glad you're here. Had a beautiful night last night. Uh, uh, great food, but the fellowship was uh, still, still charging me the rest of the night. It was so exciting to, to hear the fun that everyone was having and the, just the uh, fellowship that, that we were joining, joining together. This is uh, what we had this, this year that we're in. So, sojourns requested were 77. We had 13 that were unfilled because nobody signed up to be the team leader for them. That's, that's unfortunate. If you look at it as a, from an entity standpoint, they have this great sojourn mission that, that can do work for them. And they say, well, let's, let's get them to come and do this for us. Well, then we don't do it because... Nobody, nobody did it. Let's, let's think about that. I'm not trying to guilt you, but let's certainly consider that if it's possible that maybe we could have picked up one more, we could have had that. We're going to deal with that this coming year, so let's keep that in mind. We did have seven cancellations for different reasons. Unfortunately, there was a fire at one entity and some other things that uh, one, one, one of the uh, entities closed and, uh, and just different things, but... Uh, that happens. But we completed 57 sojourns this year, not including the 12 months of Camp B work. This coming year, we have two sojourns at Camp B that aren't just the maintenance that we do uh, each month. They're, they're particular projects. So uh, those are on the board over there. And uh, if you have the opportunity to look at those and see if you can sign in to help with those. By category, there were five of those were evangelism, the ones that were completed. Uh, Fourteen were combinations of evangelistic and uh, physical. And then we had 38 physical, which is our stronger area of what we're doing right now. We had uh, 15 promotionals, 
And six of the sojourns that were completed were first-time sojourns, which is a great thing. We, we do have some entities that have asked for sojourns in the past that did not ask for them for next year. Uh, I probably, they probably forgot, but we, we, if we call them and have them uh, sign up for sojourns, we've got to make sure we do them. If, we, if we're not making all the, all the ones we have, then we don't really need a whole lot more. We need to manage what we've got, so let's, let's keep that in mind, too. Uh, I would count this year that we had some instructionals. We had the listening lab. That's an instructional, so, so, uh, so we did have some of those. In the spiritual side, we had 2,808 uh, doors knocked. That's with counting. That's, I don't know that's preacher's count or door knocker's count. I, I think I've knocked that many by myself, but I'm not sure. Uh, brochures have passed out about 2,700. Uh, Bible studies, at least 25. Restorations, according to the worksheets, uh, we didn't see that there were any, but there may have been some. I have to think there were with, with, uh, with those Bible studies and, and just door knocking, meeting people that aren't attending church regularly. And then I didn't hear of any baptisms, but uh, uh, we need to re- always remember that that's our, that's our goal, to, to get some baptisms. Uh, entity types were uh, 13 were churches, 12 were children's homes, 19 youth camps. Youth camps are fun. They have kids. That's great. Makes us feel younger, right? We have uh, 10 Christian schools, two Christian care uh, centers, uh, one what I call a Christian event. Uh, this is Red River Family Encampment. This is the one there. And then uh, the 12 at Camp B, the monthly ones. These are the hours worked. Um, this was reported on the worksheet, the teamwork reports. When it added together, it was 22,360 hours. That's a lot of hours. We had 902 evangelistic hours. And I've got to think that number is probably higher than that. That's just reported, but you, you don't know if somebody didn't write something down because there's, there's probably a lot more than that for a combined of 2,300. I, um, Charles, Charles and I got together one time and tried to figure out, well, what do you guys, probably, what, what would you earn an hour? Well, certainly not $16 an hour. Some of you are, uh, had jobs that were making much more than that. If you look at a general laborer, they're making around, you know, $14, $15 an hour. But you guys, many of you do a, a much better, more professional job than a general laborer. So we really can't put a price tag on it. So just for fun, we did. Uh, I went to uh, 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 salary.com, and they said, you know, like about fifteen, sixty an hour. I said, well, pff, easy, sixteen dollars, probably thirty. But so we figure a, a savings of a, a, just a value of the entities of three hundred seventy-two thousand one hundred ninety-two dollars. So uh, we're really helping the entities a lot. That's that's just amazing. The, the, the evaluation sheets that we get say, say the same thing. They say, we couldn't have done this ourselves. That's why we needed you. We were so happy with the work you did. We love you guys, and we appreciate all the work. I was going to get some of the evaluations in Reno, but they get kind of mushy. So I thought I wouldn't do that. But they, they love you guys. They, for the most part, I don't know really any, any uh, issues or anything. The people that haven't asked for sojourns this year are probably kicking themselves because they forgot. Uh, I gave them a year, but, so they didn't do it. But we, we, we want to be able to handle what we have. So let's, let's uh, really uh, continue to the, the kind of work that we've been doing, and, and it's really being appreciated. Who are the sojourners? Who are we? Who are these guys? Well, I did it by, by groups. We have uh, active right now, we have 201 couples of sojourners. We have 34 single women and 17 single men. Total of 453 active sojourners right now. Does that include the new green deaths for this year? Yes. The, thir- the 32. Well, yeah. Um, 
inactive. These are not people that, that the, we try to keep track of people of people when they go on inactive status. And so, as far as I know, these uh, these most of these people are still living. You know, we we uh, can't keep complete track of that. We get calls to the office when some of our brothers and sisters pass, but. Uh, Generally speaking, this is about how many of uh, sojourners are out there that have been giving their heart and soul to the Lord in this endeavor, and now they're uh, they're uh, you know biding their, their the rest of their years uh, looking for the, the eternal glory that they have. They're still sojourners. Once a sojourner, always a sojourner. So uh, keep that in mind. You know, sojourner twenty twenty three. For next year, we have seven evangelistic sojourns coming up, 53 physical, and six combos, combinations. Two of them are first time, so let's, let's make sure we, we hit, hit on those. And then we have, uh, uh, we'll have 68 total, and as I put on there, provided they all have team leaders. Um, right now, we have 16 that need team leaders over there. We're going to um, get Trello going in the first week in November. So if you don't decide to be a team leader right now, but later you do, look at Trello and see what what, uh, what entities need a team leader and, and consider those. But we can we have the potential to do 68 of them this year, so that's that's great. And then 20, 20 promotions, I think, for us is that about right? Something like that. Okay, okay. The entity types, 19 churches, 28 Christian camps, 9 children's homes, 3 Christian care facilities, 8 Christian schools, and then the one Christian event so far that's Red River. I mentioned Trello. Um, Hopefully most of you are familiar with Trello. Uh, Charles and Joy, I believe, uh, came up with Trello, found a way for us to uh, not meet together but still get the information of the sojourns out. And this has been such a blessing for us over the last two years. But right now, it's another tool that we can use. It worked for us without being together. Now that we are together, it's a, still a tool that we can use to help manage and, and uh, view and monitor the sojourns that, that are out there for us to do. I know myself, I'll, I'll uh, be, be somewhere and then I have some free time. I look and see what sojourns are in the area on Trello, and then I can I can call up the, the team leader and see. Well, are you going to need some help? And they say, Well, yes, we do. We had some people are here for the first week, but they had to leave the second week. So please come on over and fill in. So let's let's always uh, be checking that if if we're uh, out and about and have some free time. Um, using Trello, uh, it's an online tool that we can use. Uh, view sojourns after the workshop. How does it work? Well, look for a link. We're, the Pat will, from the office, send out a, an invite to Trello. And what you do is you follow that invite, and it, it, it will bring up the, uh, the uh, entrance for the app. If you already have an app, you're going to be added to it, and then you'll be able to uh, start viewing those sojourns. The reason we're not doing it right now is because we're still signing up for sojourns, and and it's a labor labor intense project to put the information from the paper sheets into onto the computer to get it ready for you to view. So we need some time. She needs some time uh, to to get everything together to make it uh, viewable for you to to see on your on your app. So. May God be gracious to all of us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. Let's keep that attitude. Let's remember the ancient words that are written for our, for our edification, for our eternal glory, and for our, uh, our blessings from our Lord above. Thank you for your time. Brian, can I ask you a question? Yes. Get more 
if we if we have if, if have team leaders for all the ones we are have right now, you know, we could take 15 more, and then we've got 15 that uh, 15 more that we can see if we can find team leaders for. No, I mean I, that's a good question, Jim. But uh, can you have enough? You never have enough, but we don't want to disappoint people either. Take 15 more and we still have the ones. We've got some over there that didn't get taken last year that we're trying to encourage you to, I mean, expenses are up, gas is up, things like that, but we're trying to encourage you to help pick up the ones that didn't get done last year. So let's, let's focus on what we have and, and what we, uh, what, what we, um, uh, didn't get done last year. If we get that all whipped in, in, to, you know, in line, then let's pick up some more. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's not say, oh, well, we don't have anything else to do this year. Let's, let's keep busy. Thank you. I may have been accused of a lot of things in my life, but I've never been accused of having a long memory. I've made me some notes, but I forgot to look at them. <laughs> And I forgot something that was one of the most important things that I wanted to, wanted you to be aware of. Did, how many of you know that we are in the process of revising our web page? How many of you have heard some rich, vicious rumors that we're going to change our logo again? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not changing our logo. But we are updating our web page to try to make it more user friendly. And this is especially, in my opinion, directed to the team leaders to help you in filling out your paperwork when you get through. Uh, most of us have internet these days. Some of us don't really like to use it, but if you're a team leader and you need help, recruit a, a, a co-team leader who knows something about it and get him to fill it out for you. It's something that you can fill out online. And you know, you, you, you do this all the time when we order something or we're filling out a request or something. We'll fill out all of these different things. they got a little star by them. These blanks are required to be filled out. And you get through with it and you hit submit and it comes back and says, you forgot something. We're going to have something like that. So the, the items or the areas that need to have something, has to have something fill out. It's going to direct you back to it, and it'll show you what you forgot, and then you can go back and do it. But it's going to work out real good when we get it done, because all you'll have to do is fill it out, hit it, submit. It'll come right to the office. You don't have to email it. Just submit. And it comes to the office, and then it's going to be tied in with all of our programs down here, and it's going to populate where it needs to be. And the lady, How many of you ladies have ever worked in the office? How many of you like to read my handwriting whenever I handwrite something and take a picture of it and send it in to you? No. This will eliminate stuff. Didn't mean to pick on anybody either. But uh, this will eliminate that kind of thing. You remember in the uh, movie, uh, The Lord of the Rings, it started out with Galadriel saying, The world has changed. Things that were are not anymore. Because there's nobody alive who remembers what it was like. We're changing. The world is changing. And we need to change with it. If you have any questions, uh, ask Dave. No. <laughs> Come see me.